Restaurant punk. Yes, you are. Restaurant <laughs> punk. Hello, Yanni. Welcome. Liz, how are Hello, you? Hello, I'm Liz. Nico Nikos, badass Liz. What's going on? A little of this, a little of that. What's happening? Mm. What do you got? What do I have? I did have a topic. What was the shit? Already? No intros. No, let's talk about our week. No, nothing. Just get no, right into it. No, that's just too personal. I don't know. You know. All right. You guys don't even know about my personal life. Okay? I really like your sweater. It's cute. Thank you. It is Thank cute. You. Good sweater. Great. I like Thanks. the sweater. Thanks. All right. Very nice. Um, did you prepare before we shot? Prepare what? Because like, I feel like you already I brush had, my hair? I brushed my hair. I feel like you had something ready already. Like you're ready, did. you're like ready to just dive right into it. Oh yeah. Well, I did and I forgot, but now I remember. But hold on a second. Yes. How do you, this is, okay. This is my opinion. I don't expect other people to agree, but no one cares about your other job. Ooh. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one. Nobody cares about, oh, uh, you're talking about the that says, uh, can I leave early today? Cause I have to get to my other job. Right. Or we, my real job. Or I'm going to come in a little bit late today because I'm not going to be done my other job properly. Or, until later. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a three hour episode, Liz. You know, yeah. It's it one be. thing for me personally. It's one thing you say, you know what? I'm sorry. I do have to get to my other job. And you try to work with your current employer, but for you to act like your other job is more important. No single business gives a shit about another business. Whether it's related, it competes or it doesn't compete, it doesn't matter. Like that, the person you work for, that company you work for, they're built, they don't revolve around you, okay? And your needs. I'm sorry, that's just how I feel. Can we break it down for a second? Yeah. How about if this employee mm -hmm. uh, makes this statement that every Tuesday, mad be excused early, just on Tuesdays before they're hired? I just want to let you know that I do have another job and just on Tuesdays, I have to go in a little bit earlier. Would you be okay if I left an hour earlier? Yes. Now, maybe us as employees or owners, see, as, as the owner, I would say this person looks great. I would love to have them. I'll make that sacrifice. And I think having worked both, all three of us, I don't think the employees are always okay with it. Like, why the f do I have to pick up? Mm. Like, why do I have to clean the kitchen? harder on Tuesday so this other person can get to their other job. So I think it's a great topic. And that's why I said we could talk about it for three hours. That's a valid point. I didn't think about that. Yeah, after 30 yeah. years, Nico, I mean. Yeah, because you also come to the lines of, if you have somebody that's been working for your company for a while and then they get another job for whatever reason, and then you were, you know, you expect them to be on their certain shifts, but they're not there anymore because they had somebody else cover their shifts because mm -hmm. they're working at their other job. When you're making the schedule, you're making it pretty well known that these are the people that I want on these specific days mm -hmm. for a reason, mm -hmm. whether the, the strongest people uh -huh. or the weakest people, you don't never want to put weak with weak. You know what I mean? You want to put a, at least one strong, if not two, Agreed. with somebody a little Agreed. weaker. So when they're covering their ship with another you know, a weak person and you have all weeks on a Friday night, it's yeah. a problem. You're it like, I would have scheduled problem. another person if I'd known that this Correct. one was going to end up with. If well, we're If we're back to being employees though, does it make a difference <laughs> regarding this topic? And I'm going to be honest. Does it make a difference if we genuinely like this person? Uh, for me, I'm going to be honest. It makes a big difference. Yeah. Like if the guy or girl is a prick mm. and they have to leave every Tuesday and they say, oh, I have to go to my other job, and which has happened. And I'm like, you know what? F you. Like, I hate your guts. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. It's how the person approaches it. So if you come from a place <laughs> of, you know what, look, this is my situation. I'm, I'm trying to make it work. So if you're coming from a place of trying to make it work as an employee and you're, you know, you're not trying to encroach on other people's like shifts or whatever, that's one thing. But if you're acting entitled, like how dare you not accommodate my other schedule? Like that's an asshole move. I that's what, what I don't like. That's what I have a problem with. This is where I would never trade this life for anything else because I feel like in bar and restaurants, is very similar to jail. And I don't mean being in jail, I mean the culture. So whether it's front of the house and somebody saying, well, I have to leave early, do you really wanna piss off your fellow servers and bartenders? You do not. And I'm gonna take it a step further. In the kitchen, you're dead. Especially the kitchen. Right. And I feel like it never happens in the kitchen to where somebody goes, well, I have to leave every Tuesday an hour early and we're gonna clean up your, get the out of here. It'll never happen in the kitchen. It'll I'm never, sure it has. Uh, do we agree yeah. that it will never happen in the kitchen? No. 
we will not accommodate unless he's a blood brother right. and he's been in the kitchen for four years minimum. And he's like, guys, I just got, I, I need, I got to pay my bills. Like he will actually take us out for drinks, explain it to it. And that's the f code. Well, that's sure the question, f code. Is it, do you think part of the reason why it's not tolerated in the back of the house versus front of the house is because there's higher turnover in the front of the house? No, as I think, far as uh, servers. Are, are we all in agreement that there is more turnover in the front of the house and in the back of the house? I think so. Yes, Ab absolutely. absolutely. I, I would agree with that. Absolutely, one billion percent. So I'm saying, if you have higher turnover, you know that that is, if, if someone if you don't accommodate them, they're just going to bounce, and then you got you're stuck rehiring someone and retraining them again. So do you tolerate more because there's turnover is what I'm saying. Depends on how much they ask, how long they've been there for. I mean, how desperate you are. But as we spoke before about toxicity, if they're too toxic, you just cut them off right then and there. Yeah, yeah she um, raises, a, Liz raises a great point. Yeah. Because now I'm, I'm thinking back and I'm like, you know what? There have been people that are strong and I'm like, would I be better off without them? I'm like, you know what? I'm going to shut the fuck up. I'm going to, I'll fill their salt and peppers in the front of the house, not in the back of that, not in the kitchen shifts. Uh, I'll do the little extra work because you know what? I would rather work with this person five days a week and they leave early once a week as opposed to another goofball coming in that I have to retrain and they suck and they're only going to be no, here for a week. I Come disagree. on, man. I disagree. Really? Mm. Yeah, because then you're creating uh, like a domino effect. If they're doing it, and then another server or somebody else is going to do it and they're going to ask for it. And then it just keeps trickling like, down. And then if you say, I'm sorry, if like, you say again. no to the one person, they're like, well, why? You let them go early every other Tuesday or whatnot. How come I can't go? And it causes another problem. And then there's a, about a chipper, chipper, chipper in the back or the front, blah, 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 blah. Well, Liz came up with this topic. So I'm thinking it's happened before to of her. Of course, it's happened in many jobs. Um, or they'll say, oh, I got to go to my real job. Oh, well, do you? That, that's wait, wait, wait. Do you? Because the Nobody. money I make at this job, the same money as you, goes, it's real money put into my real bank account. So if you don't want it, please go work somewhere else. Oh, you got yeah. the real job person. I actually uh, They're dead to me, Liz. Uh -huh. They're yeah, dead to me. Yeah. Different. Nobody yeah. says that. No. Nobody no, in- People say it. Nobody that lives in the matrix says, that. <laughs> I'm going to my real job. Like, f really? Right. Do you think you're going to live here no. forever? But how you're about dead. this? But then, okay. Sorry. please, no, right. I, so, ladies first. Is there one here? No. Nope. Okay. A oh, then I'll you go. You a lady. So <laughs> she's a lady. I don't care what she's saying. She's a lady. It's because I brush my hair and you go, "Don't be fooled." Okay. Okay. Deal. So, um, uh, shoot, was it? Oh, we wasn't gonna say. Shit, I gotta edit this part out. <laughs> Come on, Liz. Come on back. What do you got? Come it's on, Liz. The white claws. Bring it out. My, the claws ruining my life. <laughs> so, um, oh. Don't you feel that people should have, I'm going to say special treatment, but gifted certain opportunities or situations based on merit? Like you, don't you feel like people earn things and you should be given things based on merit? Like, I don't feel like it should be everyone gets a trophy. Sorry, no. If someone gets something a little bit extra because they earned it, because they work for it, because they're a solid Correct. employee. Wait, are we talking about children or adults? It's all the same. It's, uh, it's, it's not. No, I don't feel like he's saying, well, why would you, you know, if you give it to one person, you have to give it to another. That's like saying, well, I have two kids and I go to the store, I buy one, then I buy the other one. My mom did not play that game. She told us before we left the house, we're going to the store, we're getting this for this kid. Do not ask me for anything else. I'm not buying for everyone just because one kid gets it. Mm. I'm only buying it for the kid that needs it. But really? my point is, if you earned it and you worked for it, yeah, you should be. I'm okay if someone got something a little extra versus a slacker. Like just cause you're, you show up to work doesn't mean you earned it. Doesn't mean you should get no, a little spe special extra. I'm sorry. But, Are you trying to tell me uh, for the audience, can you say how many brothers and sisters you have? I have, there's four of us all together, two brothers and one sister. So I'm going to show my age again. Mm -hmm. So what you're telling me is your mom and the four of you would go to Bradley's or James way in the early nineties. James way. Right, you remember James Way? Shout James out to James Way. Way. Nice. Try eighties, Blockbuster, <laughs> and Bradley's. Are you telling me your mama would buy one of your siblings something and yeah. then look at the other three of you and say, "Sorry, yeah. she yeah." So she would say, "If we left the house, well, your brother needs pants, so we would go to the store." And it was understood. None, no, no, none of us ever asked for anything. Did ever. she ever budge? But that's needs, though. What? 
Did she ever right, budge? But she only bought us needs. Like she wasn't buying us like extra like. Well, that's what I'm saying. It was needs. It wasn't because like your brother wanted something. Like yeah, okay, here you go. But then you you all don't get anything else. If you needed something, it's it different. was understood. We didn't ask for stuff. If she got that's it for good. us, so you didn't get a participation just, award for going to the store to get. Your brother <laughs> I like participation. I don't know. It's. No, I'm no. glad that we grew up that way. Do you it, believe it, that great work should never go unnoticed? And do you believe that good work should never go unnoticed? Because I think in our industry, bars and restaurants, you have A players. Are you telling me that B players should not get recognized with a participation award? I think they should get recognized, but I don't feel that a C player you get a special treatment. Uh, I agree opinion. with that. And no. uh, I'm going gonna, gonna to go back to your initial question. The A player, the team leader, let, let, let's just, I'll stick with the front of the house on this one. Let's say the team leader uh, has another job and the team leader is somebody that has seniority and the team leader is somebody that leaves early Monday through Friday. She's there Saturdays and even Sunday brunches, but you know, Tuesday through Thursday, she leaves for a real job. She might be the team leader, but amongst the people no, around I would, her, I would, to the owners. As the owner or manager, I would take that person aside. I say, you can't have it all. You need to choose. I can't give you all of that. So you need to choose either you want to work this job or you don't, or certain days you want to leave early and that's fine. But it cannot be that huge of a difference. You get that much special treatment. Well, there was a, actually a gentleman on our podcast that asked this question last week. Are you guys owners or are you employees? So I, I privately responded to him, you know who you are, and said that we're all ex-employees who are now owners. And Restaurant Punk is pretty much a crossover of getting from employee to owner. So sometimes we talk as owners and sometimes we talk as employees. And that's my favorite part because we've experienced both. So that's why I said the participation awards. Sometimes you have to give the B and C players even a little clap. A little bit. Yeah, something. Recognition. Yeah, oh, yeah, something. I'm not saying nothing, mm -hmm. but I'm just, I don't know. It's it's a touchy subject, it too, is touchy. because like if somebody's been working for your company for 10 years, that's earned it, like you were saying, and they're trying to better themselves in a career aspect of it, and they need to go to class or somewhere where they're being trained for it for something that they're learning. And yeah, you'd want them to go to better themselves as well. Right, but are they there for 10 years as a C player and just doing the bare minimum to well, get by? I would hope that they weren't there for 10 years being a C player because us as owners mm -hmm. wouldn't allow that. I would argue that there are employees, bar restaurants, and even outside of bar and restaurants that are C players that do just the bare minimum mm -hmm. just to hang around and just to play it safe. The bare minimum, Nico. And I'll, I'll tell you after the podcast who I'm talking about. Okay. Just the bare minimum. You know, when the pressure's on, they step up their game. When the pressure's off, they just go right back down to normal. I have an idea who you're talking about, possibly. And we're talking about back we'll in the house, correct? Yes, we are. All right, granted, if we're talking about the same person, they've been there a very, very long time that in the beginning of their, you know, coming on board, they busted their ass and did everything and helped us achieve to where we were. Do we agree with it today that they became from an A player to a C, possibly even a D player? No, but loyalty. They, they never called out. They're mm -hmm. always there. Agreed. And you kind of take them <laughs> from how much they've slacked over the many, many, many years that they've still been there and they've helped you through your toughest times so they can leave Agreed. early. Agreed. Well put. Not that I agree with it. Not that I like it. Mm -hmm. Not that anybody likes it. But yes, it's occurred because they became almost like family, especially that they've been there for so long mm -hmm. that they can't do anything else. Yeah. Liz. It, it doesn't affect, I'm sorry, it doesn't go with the sorry. job like you were saying, like leaving for another job. But mm -hmm. as far as, you know, digressing in their, in right. their uh, what they're doing for work and whatnot. Yeah, it's, it's sometimes you got to overlook it sometimes. But if it comes too toxic, then you got to cut it. I think it's the entitlement. That's my issue. It's the, entitlement the entitlement that's saying, well, I have another job. I have school. I have kids. Well, that's, like it's that. that. It's the attitude that comes with it. That's what gets under my skin. Like someone told me at a job a long time ago, they, you know, you know, it was a, a place where we all had a set schedule and it was locked in. Like it was a union house. It was locked in. That's your bidded schedule. Um, and Christmas fell on a day she worked and she had the balls to say to me, 
well, you should work Christmas for me because you don't have kids. Well, that's Ooh. so natural. Oh. It's the whole my life's worse and more complicated and harder than yours. That's why I deserve this. The it's mentality, that mentality. Yeah. So naturally, I'm like, well, that's a you problem because I don't have kids for a reason. You do have kids for a reason. That's not my. That's your choice. And this person said yeah. out loud, "That's ballsy. That's yeah. a ballsy it's move." It's because she has kids. Yeah, but there's that. That's just the issue. It's it's just it's ha it's the approach. It's the the entitlement. It's the attitude problem. Like see, if you live further than everyone else, mm -hmm. are you entitled to something different? So when they say we need to call off three people because we're, we're not busy, you should be the first in line because you live further. That's your choice. I lived far from my job at, at one mm -hmm. point, very far, and I never played that card ever because I didn't want special treatment. You know, if I wanted special treatment, I would save for something important. I'm just saying. I mean, it's true. Badass Liz. That's me. Does loyalty have an expiration date? Yes. Nico Nikos. I don't know if Nico Yeah, uh, I don't know if it's Does deep. loyalty have an expiration date? Yes. 100%. Can you ask me the same question? <laughs> Yanni Supercalifragilistic XB Carapanagiotis. Close enough. Whatever. Does loyalty have an expiration date? Yes. <laughs> You get killed. Oh, Walk at your doggy. <laughs> Restaurant punk. Badass Liz. Nikolaki. Supercalifragilis. Does that work? Supercalifragilis. Capanayotis. Are you oh, feeling that? Was. Audio man says it works. Restaurant punk. We're out. 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 Bye.